بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحلل أقدة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم Welcome back to Science Tell Class lesson I am Anna Chaiza from Hurari School Today we are going to learn about Eclipse So before moving on to today's lesson let's look at the learning intention and success criteria Learning intention We are learning to explore the phases of the moon and explain the formation of solar and lunar eclipse success criteria we will be successful if we can explain how solar and lunar eclipse occurs in relation to the position of earth moon and the sun create a model to illustrate solar and lunar eclipse students do you remember this chart Yes this is the KWL chart you get in some of your lessons to list what you already know about the topic what you want to know about the topic and what you have learned after the topic So today in this lesson you have to fill this KWL chart before during and after the lesson So remember to take your notebook and draw this KWL chart as you can see draw three columns remember to fill the first and second column first column is about what you already know about the topic and the second column is what you want to know about the topic so this is how your KWL chart should look like first two column should be filled now first column what i know so in this column you will write what you already know about the topic or mostly it's about the prior knowledge or the things that you have learned in grade 5 so let's see so you know rotation revolution of the earth occurrence of tides and seasons and different phases of the moon and the second column what you want to know today we are learning about eclipse right so you want to know eclipse and types of eclipse formation of solar eclipse and formation of lunar eclipse and the last column what i learned this column should be filled at the end of the lesson Did you know the moon has an unusual influence on everything be it mythology language or art there are many unusual moon facts that we can ever think of no wonder that moon is a symbol of such influence among the muslim ummah the moon has a lot of significance for muslims Some such examples are beautiful and radiant things are associated with the moon. Abu Ishaq narrated that Al-Bara was asked, "Was the face of Prophet as bright as a sword?" He said, "No, but as bright as the moon." Narrated by Buhari. The first group of people to enter Jannah will be shining like the moon on a full moon night. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, narrated by Buhari. The moon determines the Islamic calendar, which runs side by side with the solar calendar and so gives rhythm to the lives of Muslims. As many miracles of the holy Quran moon's orbit is a miracle too the moon revolves around the sun together with the earth it follows a path through space that resembles the letter s the appearance of this orbit resembles the twisted shape of a dry date branch 
as it is revealed in the Quran. Surah Yasin verses 39 and 40 And we have decreed set faces for the moon until it ends up looking like an old dead branch. It is not for the sun to overtake the moon nor for the night to outstrip the day. Each one is swimming in sphere. So this looks more impressive when we learn that the moon had been directly mentioned and referenced 28 times in the Holy Guruan. And also the moon completes one orbit around the earth about every 28 days. So the world with all that is created within it so amazing and complex. Imagine how great and magnificent the creator is. So students, before we learn about the eclipse, let's recall the different phases of the moon. Did you know that the moon is different every night? It changes from a thin crescent to a full moon and then shrinks back to a crescent every month. That's because the moon rotates around the earth and the sunlight's reflect of the moons at different angles. There are eight phases of the moon. So let's recall the different phases of the moon. Here we have new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, Waning gibbous, third quarter, and waning crescent. So there are total eight phases of the moon. So students, let's learn about the eclipse. So what is an eclipse? It is a complete or partial hiding of the sun caused by the moons passing between the sun and the earth. Or it can also be defined as blocking of the sun either by the earth or the moon. There are two major types of eclipse. They are solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. Solar eclipse. The word solar comes from Latin word for the sun. Solar eclipse occurs when the moon moves between sun and earth, blocking the sun's rays and casting a shadow on earth. The moon casts a shadow on part of the earth. The moon is in the new moon phase during a solar eclipse. Different types of solar eclipse. Partial solar eclipse, annular solar eclipse, and total solar eclipse. A total solar eclipse is very brief. It lasts only a few minutes. It is, however, one of the most awe-inspiring events in all of nature. The sky becomes dark and the temperature may drop several degrees. Solar Eclipse A dark disk replaces the sun but surrounding the moon is beautiful halo of light. Viewing a solar eclipse with naked eye is very dangerous. We should only view a solar eclipse with a proper eye protection. Otherwise, the intense visible light from the sun can cause damage to the retina of our eyes. When a piece of paper draws a sun on the far left, an earth on the far right, and a moon close to the earth, all bodies need to be drawn in a straight line. Find a point at the top of the sun and the top of the moon. Using a ruler, draw a line to connect the points and continue line to the earth. 
Now from the same point on the sun, find the point at the center of the bottom of the moon and draw a line. Find the point at the center of the bottom of the sun and draw the same two lines. Shade in the umbra, this one is shaded grey. Under this part of the shadow, you would experience a total eclipse. Shared in the penumbra, this one is shaded pink. Under this part of the shadow, you would experience a partial eclipse. Lunar eclipse. The word Luna comes from the Latin word for moon. Lunar eclipse occurs when the earth passes between moon and the sun. The earth casts a shadow on moon blocking all or portion of it. The moon is in the full moon phase during a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse occurs roughly about twice a year. Unlike solar eclipse, a lunar eclipse can last for a few hours. Have you ever seen a red moon? Yes, this happens during lunar eclipse. On a piece of paper, draw a sun on the far left, the moon on the far right and the earth between the two. All bodies need to be drawn in a straight line. Find a point at the top of the sun and the top of the earth. Using a ruler, draw a line to connect the points and continue the line to the moon. Now from the same point on the sun, find the point at the center of the bottom of the earth and draw a line. Find the point at the center of the bottom of the sun and draw the same two lines. Shared in the umbra. This one is shaded grey. Under this part of the shadow, you would experience a total eclipse. Shared in the penumbra. This one is shaded pink. Under this part of the shadow, you would experience a partial eclipse. we can see a summary of what we have learned from today's lesson. In this diagram, it explains both the similarities and differences between solar and lunar eclipse. So let's look at the similarities. Both solar and lunar eclipse involves sun, moon and earth. It involves shadows. It can be either partial or total. It can be seen on Earth. Then let's look at the differences. Solar eclipse involves the moon's shadow. But in lunar eclipse, it involves Earth's shadow. 
Then let's look at the phases of the moon. So solar eclipse occurs during the day or during the new moon phase. But in lunar eclipse, it occurs during the night or during the full moon phase. Solar eclipse is brief and localized while lunar eclipse is longer and can be seen by half the world. So students, let's help this astronaut to reach the moon. Are you all ready to help? Yes. So what you are going to do is you are going to find answer for the given questions to help this astronaut to reach the moon. So let's start. 